make sure y'all hitting that like button on your way in here. Hit that like, hit that like, hit that like. And um, yeah, so we're gonna pick up where we came on, you know, the Sam Jr. uh interview that Sean Davy Way did with Sam Jr. And uh also we're gonna get into a little bit of the YouTube Hunger Games update and like uh, what what's going on with that. Also, we're going to discuss, of course, um the RO retraining order update. So we have updates on that as well. And um, yeah, after looking at the document, I can see why people are prize, 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 prize. Yes, on the yes, hit that like button, hit that like. We have much to talk about, much to talk about. And also, we're gonna get into a little bit of the sector drama and beef. And also, there's a lot of fear mongering going on. And um, I definitely want to address that as well. Um, let me give a couple of shout outs. Um, yesterday, people were sitting cash apps, and to be honest, I did not check it during the live, so I missed it. So, I definitely want to give shout outs at the beginning of this live. Um, shout out to Amen. I appreciate your cash app. Yes, on yes, again, shout out to Amen for the cash app, the fan funding. I appreciate it. Um, also, shout out to Anonymous for fan funding. Uh, you are to go. I don't gas me up now. I told y'all about gas me up. Okay, my head gonna explode like a, it's gonna be like big like a blimp, and I don't want a heavy, heavy head like Teddy Bundy. Okay, okay, but yeah, don't keep gas me up. But yeah, <laughs> I appreciate the fan fun. So shout out to Anonymous and uh, shout out to Cherry Can as well, dropping those roses. We all know I love roses. Yeah, y'all can call me Rose. I love that song too. Anyways, uh, shout out to you, Cherry K. Says for the key. I'm um, not key. Oh Lord, for the <laughs> uh, for the queen of these YouTubes, Jazz on the eyes. Oh, she says streets with a K. Okay, girl. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, shout out to uh, Sweet. Okay, shout out to you, uh, Cherry K. I appreciate. <laughs> The cash app. Uh, let me see. Also, shout out to Sunshine. She says for Rose again. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So y'all gotta understand, people like roses uh, on other days besides their birthday, and also besides Valentine's Day, roses are timeless and for any day and just because. So anyways, uh, shout out to you, uh, Sunshine. I appreciate it. Says thank you. Says thank you. You are the greatest. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, and everybody else, remember, support my channel for free just by what? Hitting the like button. If you are a member, you can check the members tab for the document so you don't have to wait um, to see the document during the slide. Everybody else, y'all got to run these likes up. The likes have to be liking. So make sure you run these likes up. And I will show the RO document as soon as we get these likes up on this video. Um, y'all got something odds. And um. <sighs> According to Jacqueline Suzette Wright, um, I guess her lawyer is no longer lawyering for her. Now, I don't know if she's just saying that to stop people from contacting the lawyer. Now, I will say this. I have never contacted the lawyer. Um, Jack, uh, she self-sabotages. She self so a lot of times you don't have to do anything because she will fuck up her own shit. <laughs> That's the benefit of dealing with a crazy bitch is that a lot of times you don't have to do anything. They will self-destruct and self-sabotage, but you don't have to do anything but sit back and watch. And, you know, sometimes people come to me with issues or problems about different people. And I'm like, look, that person has a self-sabotage behavior. They're very self-destructive. I don't have to do anything. And in fact, for some people, all I got to do is just a little smidge of something and they will just take it all aboard. <laughs> Hence, uh, Kimberly Jackson, Kimberly Smith. Okay, which one? Yeah, Kimberly Jackson, Kimberly Smith. Because you know, people were just looking up Kimberly Smith, but there are also records and information under Kimberly Jackson. Call me Miss Jackson if you're nasty. <laughs> Call me Miss Jackson if you're nasty. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, and to be honest, and yes, it's the same person with the same, you know, Miss Dreads, the same Lil Wayne Dreads, okay? Woo, yeah, same raggedy house that she claims she owned, but it's actually owned by the city of Detroit, the Detroit Housing Commission. 
Yeah, but you had the nerve to talk about Queen Tulsa's house, which is like three times bigger than your house, even though her house is small too. You know, like I said before, you can enter the front door, you walk out the back door at the same time. You know, one, two step, back door. <laughs> oh, shit. So meanwhile, she has, uh, you know, started up with the Jack stuff, like the FBI is coming for you. Knock, knock, it's the FBI. I heard you were posting police reports sold to you by the police department. <laughs> so, okay, FBI, you're here to arrest me because I posted a police report that the police department gave me. And in fact, they sold it to me because they charged me for it. Uh, yeah, uh, something tells me that doesn't sound right. So, uh, uh, am I worried? Uh, no, to me, Tucket. Try again. Your threats do not uh, work on me. That might work for people out there that are gullible and stupid, thinking that. And then, you know, oh, FBI, FBI. Uh, Y'all make fun of Jackie, Jacqueline, Suzette Wright. Are you looking for me, officer? I'm a slut bucket, pissing in the pool in Louisiana. You know, she goes on here all the time talking about the FBI and she's documenting this and posting this and sending that and doing this and calling that. And uh, this is her fr freaking head mod. Timmy took it. She learned from the best. She worked with Jack for, her, you know, 0.5 seconds. <laughs> uh, now she has added that to her permanent resume of nothingness. But yeah, I so saw with that being said, she just copying Jack with this FBI shit. Like I I was supposed to be arrested three years ago and I'm still here. Yeah, so something tells me uh, I'm not worried about the FBI. They have better things to do than worry about a bitch posting a police report. <laughs> and in fact, they might wonder why am I posting a police report about you? And they they probably are gonna wonder why you would even have a police report. They're gonna be curious about your crime. Oh, officer, I'm a gangster granny. Not my sister, y'all. Not my sister. Not my sister, y'all. Jack, yeah, my sister. I'm her executive assistant. <laughs> They're gonna be worried about how you got a, a what's your police reporter back. So yeah, tell the FBI how you, um, um, I'm Timmy Tuckett. I'm Timmy Tuckett. And I, I went across the road. Like how you went across the road with a gun waving it like a gangster granny. Not my sister, y'all. Jack, my sister. I, I walked across the road and I, I waved a gun and I shot a gun at an innocent person. <laughs> and they said, okay, I wonder why somebody posting that police report because you crazy. You actually went across the road, pushed on somebody for no damn reason. And then on top of that, you waved the gun around in the air to scare the person. And then you shot the gun to fire a warning shot. <laughs> And now you're surprised that somebody posted the police report of that incident online. Oh yeah. I think the FBI is gonna take you seriously, you nut. You nut. <laughs> you're a fucking nut. <laughs> oh shit, they might actually investigate any other felonious crimes you have committed. <laughs> oh shit, oh yeah, I forgot. There's another incident of you having a gun charge. So that wasn't your first gun charge. So I think the FBI might put you on the FBI watch list. <laughs> watch out for her. Maybe she doesn't need a gun because she's trigger happy bitch. Oh, she's trigger happy. Don't play loud music. Don't make a noise. Don't sneeze. Don't walk. Don't talk. Don't breathe. Because the bitch would come across the road and Ooh, I'm Jackson. I'm Jackson. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot you. You're making too much noise. You're making too much noise. I'm Timmy Tucket. <laughs> Girl, if you don't sit down and tuck those dicks with you, Get some gorilla duct tape and, and, and get like just rip it. <laughs> rip that gorilla tape, like two good strips of that gorilla tape, and then scrap them balls up, bitch. Okay, and tape that dick up. Okay, with your your disabled me built body. Okay, you got a heavy top body and a, a, and thin twig legs. Okay, I wish I would be scared of a despicable me shaped body, nasty built body, bitch. Okay, with your legs like a fucking uh, a toothpick. And then your your top of your uh your top of your body is heavy built like a damn refrigerator. You got like a, a refrigerator, a mini refrigerator shaped body with twig legs. Like bitch, I wish I would be instead of instead of a twig leg bitch. Okay, I, I'm like, what is wrong with you? I'm surprised your legs can hold up your bad built body. Like them them legs, I know them legs is tight. Like you got them thin legs holding up that big ass body. Like, at least can can you at least be proportionate? 
can somebody come at me that's proportionally built okay you unproportionally built bitch <laughs> and, and yeah and then you're over there all day and night talking about like, you the soul cyclist you the soul cyclist. you just i know you're the soul cyclist I, I, i'm right i'm right i'm right i'm right i'm right y'all keep on talking about oh that's my auntie y'all okay see that's what happens when y'all got crazy aunties see a lot of y'all got crazy aunties so that's why y'all say oh that's my that's my auntie kimmy that's my auntie kimmy yeah auntie kimmy in the den with the lions in the lions you know because y'all used to crazy aunties that be just saying anything okay that need to be committed now let me tell you something timmy tucky i have nothing to do with mommy biter <laughs> mommy biter biting her damn mama how the fuck does me as a youtuber can drive somebody crazy enough to bite their damn mama maybe she was hungry and she didn't have enough money for lemon pepper weed so she bit her damn mama Okay, maybe she ain't have enough money for a damn Snickers bar. And then, you know, so she just bit her thing and mama. I mean, hungry, why wait? <laughs> but anyways, the point is, uh, if you actually know the history of this sector before you start spewing things between those nasty built dentures, okay? A nasty built body and nasty built oversized dentures in your damn mouth. If you knew anything about the history of this sector, that bitch bit her mama um, like a lemon pepper wing, like the last one in the box, and the last wing out of out of the five piece. Okay, she bit her mama before I even knew her of her existence. Okay, before I knew she existed, she had to bit her mama before she made her YouTube channel. So stop trying to blame me for somebody biting their damn mama. Okay, I ain't got nothing to do with nobody biting their damn mama before I even met the bitch. I drove that bitch to madness. Okay. So anyways, what I will say is that mommy biter has not been making me into no content she has not been defaming me she has not been slandering me or doing anything she has not been making no videos and everybody knows that if somebody leaves me alone for a certain period of time i don't discuss that person so uh mommy body if you're out there understand that timmy tuckett number one she didn't even say your channel name she didn't call you by your channel name she actually called you mommy biter or mammy biter so she was she was she was out to get you and disrespect you right there and then secondly uh i'm not the one that brought your name up she brought your name up so you could blame her for why you're being discussed at this moment in time how about this timmy tuckett stop bringing up other people's name because other people maybe don't want to be brought up in the mess that's why they're not out here mentioning me or discussing me because they don't want me to be talking about them <laughs> So you can blame uh, Timmy Tucker for why your name is brought up because she's trying to use you and weaponize you against me. What y'all need to do is stand on y'all own two claws and y'all stand on y'all own two hooves and y'all own two claws and stop trying to worry about other people and bring other people into y'all be. See, a lot of y'all always trying to bring somebody else into y'all be. Can y'all fight a battle alone without trying to bring everybody else? And then the next thing, you know, uh, Timmy Timmy Tucker is talking about um, She's gonna uh, submit evidence from Jacqueline and every and Teddy Bundy and everybody to the FBI as like a group project or some kind of team effort. And then as soon as somebody mentions Ryder Rule, she says, "Oh, maybe Ryder Rule can call the police or FBI herself." I like. Wait a minute. I thought it was gonna be a group project. Now all of a sudden it's an individual project. <laughs> okay, girl, can you have a seat? Listen here, uh, Timmy Tuckett. Nothing you do or say or any of your threats or attempted in, uh, uh, intimidation. See, a person like you thinks that you can take a gun and intimidate somebody and walk across the road and, you know, use certain things and threats and violence to intimidate. Let me tell you something. Nothing you do or say will stop me from doing what I want to do. Because you have came out to me for over a year off and on with your bullshit and false doxing and slander and defamation. And uh, now it's up in the stuff. It, it, if it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. There's no uh, nothing. So everything I want to do is going to be done. And there's nothing you can do about it besides just wait for me to uh, do what I'm going to do. <laughs>
Okay, so all that I huff and I puff and I blow your house down uh, ain't gonna work over here. Let's be clear. Oh, Lord. Like I said, if it's up, then it's up, then it's up, then it's stuck. My, my, my. It looks like Jag, like I said before, might have... Oh, wait, before I get into the Jag, let me tell y'all this real quick. Um, Some of y'all need to understand that y'all need to stop out with this fear-mongering and, and lies on my channel and on my brand. Some of y'all five dollar begging assholes is out here begging for five dollars, you know, out here jealous of me because I don't have to get on here and beg for a penny and beg for five dollars and then try to brag about how I ain't on food stamps when I look like a broke ass bitch that you know you you ass you ain't nothing wrong with no food stamps. Shit. If I had food stamps, I'd be swiping that card today because groceries are expensive. What's annoying is when bitches get on here begging for five dollars and then the next thing you know they're on here talking shit about somebody uh on food stamps and what's the difference between you on here begging for five dollars and somebody on food stamps <laughs> obviously both people have low income low enough that to need help good job but please if you getting out here begging for five dollars don't talk shit about somebody on food stamps because it don't make sense but anyway, some of y'all be on here jealous because of the support I get. Instead of trying to build your channel to an end, uh, wait for your turn, you try to be a crab in a barrel and try to talk shit and, and sneak hate on somebody else that's doing better than you. Uh, with that being said, let me tell y'all this. A lot of y'all try to fear monger and that like, oh yeah, Danny's gonna do this and Danny's gonna do that. I have already made it clear. I don't come for people unless they come for me. And that means I'm talking about the doxing stuff. People are out here acting like I just dox people for no reason. No, the people that dox people for no reason are fucking Timmy Tucky and Roddy Root. People like that are the ones that dox you for no reason. And they dox you off of emotion and they dox you for content and just for money. They are the ones that would just dox and go off for damn no reason. From time and time again, even as such as yesterday, I have shown that somebody like even uh, Mel can actually reach out to me and, and have a conversation and then that can dead the situation. Okay, there are people that I have known who they are and I have not doxed their information. There are people that have made commentary videos on me that are even like a part of the scam investigation that I did not dox. So I don't just go around here randomly doxing people. <laughs> okay, so stop trying at like that. Okay, now if you try to dox me and you false dox and do all that kind of shit, then I will come for you. And that's on period. Okay, but don't be out here acting like somebody just making a video on me or commentary or on me or something basic on me is going to lead to some false doctor. So that's called fear mongering. There are a lot of people with my name all up in their titles and all up in my uh, all up in their mind. There are people that make videos on me all the time and not all of it is positive. And I'm not doxing those people just because they have me in their title or they are talking about me or giving commentary on me. So y'all need to stop with that fake and fucking shit. Tammy Tuckett was false doxing for a long time and still false doxing, putting out slander and defamation. Teddy Bundy has, King Crackhead has, DJ Crackhead has. Those are the people I'm after and there I go outside of YouTube, okay? Um, I have had plenty of visa people that have not went outside of YouTube. It's paid on YouTube, so please, be, let's be clear. Um... With that being said, I will say that a lot of people don't want beef because they are, you know, they just don't want beef. And some people, to be honest, did, didn't want beef because they were cloud chasers. <laughs> they were only using me for uh, attention and a connection. Okay, yeah, there are some people like that. They only try to stay close to me to try to get my support and my co-sign and the, get the support of the Avengers. That's all they try to do. So they don't want to they don't want to be cut off or you know disconnected because they don't want to lose support 
It ain't nothing about nothing else. Hold on one second. Um, shout out to uh, yeah, okay. Shout out to Sandra says, uh, Avenger Forever. Hit that like button for Danny. Yes, on the yes, dropping that rose. I appreciate it. Happy 29 month anniversary, 29 month anniversary to you, Sandra. Um, happy six month anniversary to um, CCH. Yes, on the yes. Uh, happy anniversary and dropping those scores of roses. I appreciate it. Um, happy uh, 15th month anniversary to Sandy. Says, love my Avenger family. Oh, thank you, girl. Mwah. Love you, too. Sandy has been around for a while. Seems like you've been longer than that, though. Um, let's see. And uh, happy 8th month anniversary to Jess Mona. I appreciate the support. I appreciate all the members. And uh, everybody else, remember, support my channel for free just by what? Hitting that like button. Like even for Timmy Tucky, all she used to do was say, hey, Avengers, Avengers, drop the swords, drop the swords. How are you going to be over there on your channel telling Avengers to drop the swords? Like you're demanding the Avengers to drop the swords in your channel. You're going to try to use me to get to my support base. Okay, you're a fucking user. Just like you use Jag, you talk, like you use other people. Okay, that's why your ass mad. Your, your ass mad because I stopped fucking with you completely. And then you lost support over there as far as people being in your chat. And your chat is dead as fuck. I'm going to give y'all a fact that don't nobody know. My lawyer, who y'all stalked, quit yesterday. I'm sorry, Jab, but you need somebody else to co-sign. I don't believe shit until you have a co-signer. I'm sorry. Yeah, you lack credibility. And as far as the lawyer goes, uh, I don't believe that he's, uh, I don't know if, he, if he's not representing you or not. We will have to wait to the court's update to see if they have changed her back to a public defender or um, if he will still stay on record. Because if he's actually gonna come off, then they will have to update her, her attorney. Yes, I'm calling to speak to Dimitri. Yes, who's this? This is Danny. Okay, what's going on? Yes, are you still representing Jacqueline, right? Um, what do you mean? Uh, are you still representing her? She said you're no longer representing her. What? Why are you calling? Uh, because she said you're no longer representing her, so I'm trying to see if that's true or not. Uh, right now we're paying to withdraw, yeah. And, and who are you? Uh, to be honest, a vlogger. You so say you're, plan you're planning to withdraw? <laughs> So anyways, he said uh, he's planning to withdraw. I should have just said something else, but I didn't want to lie right now. Yeah. So anyways, he's planning to withdraw. Oops. I should have said something else, but yeah, yeah I'm, it's early still for me. But anyways, yeah, he said he's planning to withdraw. Uh, he don't want to talk to no blogger, reporter, nothing, okay? <laughs> so he said he's planning to withdraw. But did y'all hear that? He, did he say he's planning to withdraw? I have to listen back, but did y'all hear? I think he said planning to. Y'all listen, it doesn't matter whether it's a journalist, reporter, blogger. He doesn't, nobody wants to talk to the media. I had to say, I would have to say something else like a friend or a family. Um, yeah. So anyways, I think he did say withdraw, but I have to I have to listen to this live again. Okay, because uh it happened. I was on the phone call, so I didn't really pay attention. I would have to go back and listen to my own live and see what he said. I think he says planning to withdraw. Um, hold on. But yeah, whether he doesn't want to talk to a reporter or a blogger or anybody, so that's why he hung up. 
It has to be somebody that's supposed to be her ally or somebody cool with her. It can't be somebody anti or somebody just with the media. Okay? Uh... Hold on one second. Power on. Bluetooth pairing. Hey, uh, oh, Dusty is trying to link up with Timmy Tuckett. Okay, now he wants to link up with Tim, uh, Timmy Tuckett against me. <laughs> Uh, because oh Dusty uh is mad because I keep posting court stuff, um, court updates. And the reason is a lot of times uh Jack and Old Dusty can come out here and they can they speak and they say what's happening with the court and we don't believe them. <laughs> they need co-signers, we don't believe them, so we have to wait for the court to update to tell us what's what's happening and you know the truth or at least another side okay there's always one side and then another side and the truth is in the middle it's not always like directly in the middle but it's somewhere in the middle and sometimes it's like not in the middle it's like 100 percent on some one person's side but i'm the type of person i want to hear both sides and not just uh one person's side so that's why even when Jag was in jail, she would make phone calls and, and, and video calls and tell her side of the story. And then I would talk to correctional officers to hear their side and what's going on. Uh, and then, of course, uh, previous or current inmates, you know, well, we know some, some of us talk to uh, current, some of us talk to um, previous uh, cellmates to hear what they had to say about her while she was in jail. Uh, that way we can get different sides. And then from there, we will reach our own conclusion, okay? Uh, but yeah, we definitely don't want to hear just old Dusty and Jack's side of anything, okay? Uh, yeah. So that, there's only one update. So let's get into this. So there was a final order on July 31st, 2024, as you can see on the right hand side, um, where it says filed and it says that stamp date. Okay, that's the stamp date. And uh it's at the very top, this is the form DB 130. It says the RO order off the hearing um order of protection so this is after the hearing this will be the final like verdict or whatever um the protected person as you know jack has said the name millions of times is the ex-wife a niece okay the restrained person in order to stay away is villa lobo oh dusty oh dummy um, gender is male, African American, age 45, 61, 210. Now uh, he has been eating Jags, poison, um, unsanitary lasagna, spaghetti. So he has definitely gained weight. So he's not 210 anymore. Okay. You got to add a good 80 pounds. Well, not 80, but at least 60 or so. Um, you got to add more pounds for that now. Okay. Because he's been eating good and he's been missing no meals. Uh, city, Inglewood, California. So I redacted that. Relationship to person, husband, uh, was being uh, filed for divorce. She got rid of that, Dusty. And then, uh, ooh, child, that's why he offered me now trying to link up with Timmy Tucker, child. Talking about he got contacts and FBI and this and that. Uh, how am I going to go to jail for uh, talking about your restraining orders? <laughs> oh, my gosh. How am I going to go to jail for talking about your permanent restraining order? People, the police are going to wonder why you got a restraining order against your ass. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, police officer, I would like to report, you know, a YouTuber reading my restraining order document. Uh, yeah, about how I got a permanent restraining order against me. You know, I'm a stalker and a tracker and uh, spying on people through uh, camera equipment. <laughs> oh, shit. 
I think they might want to monitor your ass, okay? Uh, <laughs> y'all, y'all are completely a joke and laughable at this point. I actually want to be a fly on the wall when y'all reporting certain things. I want to be a fly on the wall when y'all are reporting certain things and certain crimes, okay? Uh, yeah, because tell me what, I be, that's why I be saying, can y'all tell me what my crime is? Can you tell me what the crime is? And also, can you record yourself reporting me for uh, for what I'm doing? Because that will actually expose yourself as a weirdo and also as somebody creepy. Okay? Um, yeah. So, this restraining order, it says, it's of the orders noted below and on December 31st, 2025 at 4.30 p.m. So, how they put the time? <laughs> put the time to but anyways uh so wow this will last all the way into december 31st at the end of 2025 yikes you had to be called doing some crazy shit to get a permanent restraining order and to last all the way to december 31st 2025 good job oh, dusty oh dusty oh dusty see this is what happens this is the jag effect Okay, Jack has been around you. She she can't keep that. She didn't keep that lawyer. Um, a lot of negative things. She's not checking in with the uh the people. You have just got a big old kid. Jack is just a big old kid, and now you have taken on her because you feel like you can clout chase off her and make money off her. Have this black love show. Uh, Jack has already had a lot of couples chantels. Welcome to being the number ten hundred. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how many couples channels has Jack had? Let me introduce you to the one that she created with TJ, the one she created with Sip. What was the one called with Sip? Sip and her forever. <laughs> and TJ, her had a couples channel. Uh, now, this ain't the first couples channel that she had. It ain't gonna be the last, okay? In about three months, you'll have another man, uh, another woman or stud. Um, you know, in a couple's chances. Woo! Okay, so right here, um, Hold on one second. It says the hearing. Wait, 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 wait. The restraining order set the orders noted below and on uh, December 31st, 2025. I already went over that. And then it says the hearing was on date 717 and 731 24 with name of judicial officer uh, Kylie. Now that's the lawyer's name. And then these people attended the hearing. Um, that was a lawyer. Well, that's the judge's name of the first line. Compared to the judicial officer, the judicial officer is the judge, Kylie. Randy L. is the um, the, the uh, lawyer. Now, I showed y'all the lawyer's picture already. Y'all remember the lawyer's picture I showed y'all? Uh, Randy Cooper. Okay. Uh, no firearms, guns, firearms, cars, or ammunition. And it says respondent must call DB 800 with number seven check no later than 8 to 2024. So, oh, Dusty, um, oh, Dusty had to fill out uh, a form and show proof that he uh, turned in his firearm or sold his firearm, okay? Um, I already went over that, so I'm not going over that again. I already showed that document. So watch my previous videos to get updates on the, uh, the firearms. They said the first time he uh, submitted one, it was incomplete. So then he had to redo that form, and he did redo it and submit it. I think he, uh, it's filed as of August 5th. Uh, prohibited items are firearms, firearm parts, meaning receivers, frames, and any item that may be used as are easily turned into a receiver or frame. Ammunition says within 24 hours of receiving this order, you must sell to or store with a licensed gun dealer or turn into law enforcement any pre prohibited items you have in your immediate possession or control. If law enforcement asks you for your prohibited items, you must turn them over immediately. 
Um, anything that happens, that's any false strikes will be met with uh, real strikes. I will say that. Let's be clear. Any false strikes will be met with uh, a reaction. And uh, I am known for I will terminate bitches. Okay, let's be clear. <laughs> Play with me if you want to. Okay, within 48 hours of receiving this order, you must file a receipt with the court that proves all prohibited items have been turned in, sold, or stored. You may use form DB 800, um, receipt for firearms, firearm parts, and ammunition. If law enforcement serves you a with restraining order, you must get a copy of the receipt of that law enforcement agency. To that law enforcement agency. Basically, he cannot have a firearm. If you have a permanent restraining order against you, that takes away your uh, right to have a firearm. Limited exemption. So that's not checked. I'm not going to read it. Well, oh, dusty, oh, dusty, oh, dusty. You cannot be trusted with weapons. So that's why you have to turn it in. Ooh. Now we're going to skip over everything besides the boxes. We're going to skip over everything that's not checked. So 12 is X out in text. We will go over that one. Order to not abuse. Of course, this is a restraining order. So um, for some people, they need information on what they consider you know, a violation. Uh, anything that's considered, you know, you must not do the following things to the person in one. So, oh, Dusty can't do any of this stuff to the person in one. Harass, attack, uh, strike, threaten, assault, hit, follow, stop. Uh, I'm not going over all this, but everyone should know anything that's violence or disturbing the peace. Um, Block movements, annoyed by phone or other electronic means, uh, including repeatedly contacting the person. Uh, disturb the peace. Now, this one right here can be tricky. Disturb the peace means to destroy someone's mental or emotional calm. This can be done directly or indirectly, such as through someone else. This can also be done in any way, such as by phone, over text, or online. Disturbing the peace includes force of control. Force of control means a number of acts that unreasonably limit the free will and individual rights of any person protected by this restraining order. Okay? Examples include isolating them from friends, relatives, or other support, um, keeping them from food or other basic needs, controlling or keeping track of them, including their movements, contacts, actions, money, or access to services, and making them do something by force threat or intimidation, including threats based on actual or suspected immigration status. Um, force of control includes reproductive coercion, meaning controlling someone's re reproductive choices, such as forcing, using force, threat, or intimidation to pressure someone to be or not be pregnant and to control or interfere with someone's contraception, birth control, pregnancy, or access to health information. Now, I'll be honest, um, Throughout time, a lot of times people have not included coercive control in a lot of these uh, restraining orders. But times are changing and now coercive control is actually being taken seriously because a lot of times people do use um, threats, intimidation and other things and things that, you know, are not really physical violence are easy to detect or spot um, uh, ways that people can control people that are, you know, uh, so that uh, a lot of that stuff can fall on the course of control. So that's now being added. Um, yeah. And a, a good way to keep track of that is to have like a, a notepad or a document to uh, show how somebody might be using course control tactics, which is less likely to be viewed as domestic violence unless somebody really takes it into a whole or consideration. Uh, a certain pattern of behavior over a certain period of time, okay? Uh, no contact order. You must not contact the person at once. So obviously we already know you don't contact the person. And it says exception to 13A, uh, you may have brief and uh, you may have brief and peaceful contact with the person at once to only communicate about your children for a court order visit. So he can't have brief, uh, he can't have brief and peaceful contact with his ex-wife all need to communicate about their child. And then three is also checked in communications through talking 
prepares itself uh, in the case of an emergency or for urgent matters. Um, stay away order. Uh, you must say at least, child, that writing is not good. Uh, is, is that a four? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's, it's a certain amount of yards away from the person. Um, home a person, job, and vehicle a person. I don't know if that's 14 yards. I don't know, y'all. Child, the writing. Um, and then it says right here, and so away, she must stay away from her, uh, her person, like her body, of course, her home, her job, and, um, vehicle, okay? Oh, you, you think it's a hundred yards? Okay, I was like, it looks, it looks, you know what? It looks like a W. It looks like a W. So I can see what you're saying. So the person did not properly form. Uh, their zeros are not properly formed. Okay, so I can see that. Now, can y'all connect y'all zeros? It, it didn't take that much longer to connect the zeros. I mean, connect the zeros, y'all. So, okay, I appreciate y'all. I'm like a W. Oh, yeah, so 100 yards away, okay? And then it says, uh, exception to 14A. So there are exceptions to staying 100 yards away, okay? And it says, for you to exchange your children for court order visits. So obviously, to exchange the child for court order visits, you have to come closer than that 100 yards. So that's why there, that's an exception. You must do so briefly and peacefully. So even though there is an exception to that, you must do it. It must be brief. Don't try to prolong it. Um, then three is checked. It says other. For you, uh, for you oh, to attend, on. for you to attend school events and extra uh, curricular activities of the minor child, parents may attend. Well, let me make this smaller. Uh, attend in those circumstances. Respondent must stay ten feet away from petitioner. So uh, in the uh, when it's a school event or something like that, then the respondent can come closer. Uh, but it says it must wait. It says ten feet away. So okay. So in the in the case of school events, the respondent must stay ten feet away. Okay. And uh, yeah, hold on. So basically, they they're trying to say you know since they have a child. They are saying that they can uh, still be in the same place, uh, but they have to still maintain some distance. And if they are close, they have to be brief contact. Okay. And child custody and visitation order. But there is going to be a child custody and visitation order as well. As such as who has custody, who doesn't, and things like that. 19 is checked. It says control of property. Uh, I redacted address, okay, and it says respondents shall contact uh, petitioner's attorney to arrange for pre-K uh, no, for pickup uh, to arrange for pickup or delivery of personal items um, dividing our I don't know if this uh, wait division. Okay, division of furniture, uh furnishings will be addressed in the proceeding. Um yeah, see that's people need the uh, the the curse of his uh Lord Hammer. It says something proceeding, okay. But there is another hearing in September, okay? Good job. Uh, Miss Body may change the locks to the house. So his ex-wife can change the locks to the house. Ooh. 
And you know he's mad about that. And press, 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 press. So yeah, she can change the lock. That's if she hasn't already, but this is giving her like court order permission. So there's one thing where for her to do it herself, and there's another that says court order. So he can't argue against the court order. Okay, so it says dissolution and proceeding. That's what I think it is. So the division of furniture furnishings will be addressed in the dissolution, like because the, they're going to a divorce, so it has to be a dissolution. Please affix the her handwriting, child. Cause that look, the first little like a C, not a D. Whew. Okay, twenty says health and other insurance. Respondent shall contact Blue Shield to ensure that petitioner is covered in his health insurance and shall maintain petitioner and this health insurance pending the dissolution of marital status so oh dusty oh dusty oh dusty uh you must maintain health insurance now i heard jack say that she's gonna stop you from helping out stop paying you know paying or helping out with anything because you were ordered child support now what i do know is oh dusty you don't like people talking about how you are this and how you're that. Please understand that the court will update everybody as to uh, what's happening with your case. Okay, so when it comes to September, when y'all have to meet up again, the court will update the records to show if you have maintained your insurance and if you have paid your child support. Now, I don't think that you want anybody out here to read any upcoming court document saying that you're a deadbeat. So I don't think you want to be known as a deadbeat because that's gonna like that's not really good for somebody that's trying to be an up and coming anything to be known as a deadbeat. And you don't want that to be as a permanent record of a deadbeat. So we will see what we will see in December, not December, but in the next court day, we will be looking over the court documents to see if you have maintained insurance and have paid your $750 that you, you're supposed to be paying ever since the, I think they said the second or something. So we will see uh if he yeah because he said that he's a good father and jackson he's a good father so let's see if he's actually gonna follow court orders okay let's see respondents shall uh provide status regarding insurance to petitioners earn uh attorney no later than 8 to 2024. So yeah, uh, in September, they are going to meet up again to talk about spousal support and child support in a more uh, permanent um, order or, you know, arrangement. So I'm curious to know if he, if Jack, if Jack is going to convince him to not support his child, that he actually going to show that he's a deadbeat or he actually going to be supporting and maintaining uh, his fatherly duties and obligations. We'll see what type of man he really is, won't we? Uh, the person and uh, two must complete file and square form DDB 805 proof of enrollment for battery intervention program. What well, shall? Yeah. That's not checked though. See, 28 is not checked, so we're not going to do that. So uh, I read that, but that's not checked, so he's not required. Okay, these are not checked off, so let's get these. Okay, number 30 is checked. No other proof of service is needed. The people in one and two attended the hearing either physically or remotely by telephone or video conference or agreed in writing to this order. So um, since they both were present and accounted for in attendance, there's no need for any further serving or service to notify any either party of the final order. Any law enforcement officer in California who receives these or verifies the orders on paper, uh, on a paper copy in the California law enforcement tele uh, telecommunication system or in NCIC protection order file must enforce the orders. 
and let's go down. Again, name of protected person is ex-wife, name of restrained person, and rightfully so, but it's all old dusty. Um, no, and then number four is check, no travel with children without permission in person uh, for, uh, for the restrained person. And it says must, uh, it says person in two must have great permission from the other parent or, or a court order to take the children outside of the county. Child, he can't even take, uh, he can't take the child outside of the county. Not even like to like a different county within California. He can, he can only take the child within the Los Angeles. That's it. So, Jack, pay attention to what this says. The wife can take her child anywhere she wants. Oh, Dutch is the one that is trained and is the one that uh, stated that he can't take his daughter outside of the county. So she wants to take the child to where she wants, but she can't. I'm not saying this man that she can't. So don't worry about where she's going with the child. Okay? You need to worry about where your man going. And that's the child custody. Okay, this is check number seven. So child custody is granted to uh, the person in one. So that means the ex-wife. So the uh, ex-wife during this time, she has sole custody. And then physical custody is also to the ex-wife. Yeah, so she got uh, legal and physical custody. And as you can see, the joint is not checked off. Legal custody, the person that makes decisions about the child's health, education, and welfare goes to the wife, ex-wife. The person that uh, the child regularly lives with is the ex-wife. Yas of the yas. So the ex-wife has legal and uh, physical custody. Ooh. So that's why he's press, 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 press. Oh, Dusty. See, why are you mad at me instead of yourself? You put yourself into this predicament. Your behaviors and Jack's behaviors combined led to this. But no, you want to try to take it out on me because I'm just the reporter. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. People always want to shoot the messenger. Pew, 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 pew. It's a 22. If that's what happens. We need to look at the man in the dusty ah, 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 shoot nigga in the mirror. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, and make a change. Okay? Uh, I don't, and then I will report on what I see. So if you actually make positive, positive steps, then you know what? In September, when I get the court document, and if if it's positive, it will say that you maintained your uh, health insurance, that you paid your child support, and that you did this, you did that. So it will be positive reporting. If it's negative because you listen to Jackie and you don't pay your child support and you don't maintain health and you don't do this and you don't do that, then it's going to be negative. You're not going to like it. So you decide what I will report. You see how that works? People out there decide what I will, what I have to report because I can only report on receipt. And that's what people don't understand about my channel. If you want positive commentary, then be positive. If you want negative commentary, then be negative. I only report on receipts. So the receipts can be in your favor or not. It's up to you. See, a lot of y'all are always negative and doing like lies and making up shit. So the receipts are not on your side. So that's why you're upset with me. Okay? Uh, yeah, it's common sense. That's the benefit of working with somebody that does receipts because my opinion is based on receipts and what I see is not based on my opinion. Okay, now some things are based on the opinion, but I'm mostly a receipt channel. So people that are gonna hate me are people that are liars and people that are uh, dishonest and people that are uh, doing things they shouldn't be doing. Okay, so let's see, uh, schedule a supervised visit. Uh, and this number four is checked and it says other schedules be attached these are interim orders these are interim orders we have to understand that this is a divorce proceeding as well so the they're, they're going through it hasn't been like a dissolution complete dissolution and the divorce has not been finalized so even though uh it still has to be certain things in place to protect the ex-wife and her daughter um, during the divorce process in the interim. 
Okay, Mr. Body uh, says Mr. Body should have a video call with uh, his daughter uh, Monday through Friday. Please reference your curse too. I know you might get tired of curse. Can you actually buy? You can probably get a PDF editor and, and type it in. That way, you can save your time from writing. Okay, it says at 7 p.m. Uh, Miss, uh, the ex-wife shall initiate the call. So he's gonna have a video call with his daughter Monday through Friday. Uh, the ex-wife will initiate the call so he can just readily call whenever you want. You will have to, uh, initiate it based on her scheduling and the daughter's schedule. Uh, a lot of times when people are control free, they would just, they, they can just call and interrupt and do when things when they want to and how they want to and that can uh interfere with your they don't care about your schedule and what you have to do when you are the you know uh you you have shit you have to do so the wife knows her schedule and the daughter's schedule what's more convenient and she doesn't really need him to inconvenience uh or disrupt so with that being said mr body she'll have a five minute grace period uh the call should not exceed 30 minutes so he should have a five minute grace period to where once uh, the call is initiated, he should have at least five minutes to get himself together or to, you know, to, I don't know, to return our call. I don't know. Mr. Body show um, have parent, uh, parenting time every Sunday from 2 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. supervised by professional um, monitor paid for by him. <laughs> So you you gotta have supervised visit. My my my, you gotta have supervised visits paid by a professional monitor, paid by him. Uh, Mr. Body or and then they did give another name. I scratched out. Uh. And I think it's was possibly a relative relative of his or something because they had the same last name of Bodhi. Okay, I keep saying body, but it's Bodhi. For body, she has sign form uh, FL324 MP or anyone else mutually agreed upon by the parties through talking parent, provided that person has signed the same form uh, FL324 MP. Um, Sunday visits start August 11, 2024. Video calls start August 1st. So the video calls have already started as of the following day off of the court. As far as the Sunday visitations, that don't start until tomorrow. Um, that probably was giving him time to arrange the supervised visit. And that can be the only person that's his relative or any person that they both agree upon or are professional. And they said, what's the form called again? Wait. Okay, so form FL324. Let me see what that is. Okay, so that's a California uh, form that says Declaration of Supervised Visitation Provider. So they have to fill out this form and it's pretty much asking them questions about any form of convictions of child abuse and any child harm, um, transportation of the child and different questions just to go over um, the person, okay? Um, that will be doing the visitation or supervised visits. Okay, so let's get back to this form. And then we have, uh, hold on. Oh, yes, and yes, this is the best part of the day. Mr. Bodie shall not permit 
Jacqueline Pissy Pussy diaper went right to be present during uh, his parenting time. Oh, shit. My, my, my. It looks like Jacqueline Suzette Wright can't be present during visitation. So every time he gets his child, you can't be around because you're unsafe and you're unfit and you are you are uncool and you lack the discipline and the know-how to be a great person to be around a child so yeah it looks like jackie the judge has seen the light of day and the judge said you're pissed and Pussy Dingleberry, unfit motherfucker parent, deadbeat bitch, monster mama. <laughs> oh shit, with the Dingleberries are cracking your damn ass. And your crazy ass can't act. No, you can't act right nowhere. Do I know bitches you can't take to the movies because you're sitting there loud and talking loud in the movie theater asking questions like, what happened? What happened? What happened? Girl, it's the movie theater. Watch the damn movie. Close your damn mouth while you crunch on the damn popcorn, bitch. You being too damn loud in the library, the police department, mayor's office, everywhere you fucking go. Now, I told you, Jackie. Jackie! <laughs> I told you your ass can't be around no kids. Your ass can't be around no kids because you are unsafe to be around a kid. And I think that private investigators saw something. I wish I knew what they saw. But they saw something that said, oh, no. We don't need that Jacqueline Wright person around this child. She cannot be around this child doing visitation. You unfit, bitch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love it. See, that's why y'all are press, 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 because the ex-wife won. She won. She won, bitch, because she actually showed that Jacqueline's that right, crazy ass, should not be around her daughter. She said, I can't, and I can't, and I won't tolerate some foolishness. Jacqueline says, that right, you're not going to be around my child, and I'm going to make sure you're not going to be around my child, you crazy ass hoe, get nasty as slut, bitch. <laughs> And you know what? We all don't blame her because look, nobody want wrong, want Jackie around her kids. Like she jags out on everybody from the police to the workers to everybody. So what makes y'all think she's gonna jag out on the child? Look how she treats her own child, Sam, and how she did her own child, Giovanni. Okay, she should not be around no kids. Now let's be honest. Oh, Dusty knows good and damn well he did not take her to the Essence Festival in Louisiana because he knows that bitch don't know how to act. And I guarantee you that he would not even let Jag take his daughter by herself. I'm not talking about supervised, but he's watching the by herself nowhere. He don't trust that bitch either. Ooh, let's talk about it. That's why he didn't take Jag to the essence because he didn't want her around his son. But that's not the type of woman he wants his son around to. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me read that part again because that's my favorite part. Mr. Dusty shall not permit. Wait, let me get into my other voice, my judge voice. Mr. Bodie shall not permit Jacqueline Wright to be present during his parenting time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, bring this to your attention. Mr. Baldy shall not present, wait, shall not permit Jacqueline Wright to be present during his, uh, you know, parenting time. Okay, which, uh, make sure suffering, suffering suckatish. Mr. Baldy shall not permit Jacqueline Wright to be present doing his parenting time. Okay, so I hope one of those uh, axes work for you. Your Honor, I'd like to bring it to your attention. Mr. Bodie, 
cannot permit Jacqueline Wright to be present during his parenting time. Now, I hope you understood one of those all uh, personalities, okay? Uh, and then it says, the exchange on Sunday, she'll be at the 77th uh, police station in Los Angeles. <laughs> Now, you know it has to be something if you have to make your exchanges at the police department. Yeah, it has to be a police department that y'all crazy. And to be honest, I ain't trying to be funny, but oh, it does see something right with him, something wrong with him. And I hate to say this, but when some people are rejected, that's when they can go off the handle and off the hinge and on the hinge, they can be crazy. Because there's no reason oh, does he be, should be so uh, this crazy and like really like like really after me so bad and i'm just a blogger <laughs> i'm just a blogger but he has so much hate for me for real like lord have mercy but well, if he has that much hate for me a blogger <laughs> imagine how much hate he has for his uh ex-wife let's be honest here so with that being said uh yeah the exchanges need to be at a police department okay because he's crazy and jag is crazy too uh, but Jack, you cannot be around the daughter at all. So on Sundays, you gotta uh, disappear. Abracadabra could do. On Sundays, you best not be around that child. If, if anybody sees you around that child, that's a violation. And your old dusty nigga gonna be in jail because you violated a restraining order. Your ass get tossed in that slammer. Okay. And then it says, Mr. Bodie should complete 12 parenting classes by October 31st, 2024. Oh, it looks like you are going to be booked and busy and not in a good way. <laughs> booked and busy. But you got to take parenting classes on how to be a damn parent. The first step is uh, don't allow your child around a crazy bitch that was just on the most wanted poster with a mohawk with bald head edges. <laughs> that's for starters and how she smiled in her mug shot like I'll do it again I'll do it again I'll do it again with that stuff okay focus on the development uh, focus on the developmental uh, needs of children so he needs uh, of his daughter's age so you have to be taught in these parent classes on the developmental needs on child development and what's proper what's improper at the stages uh, an age of your child. The impact, the impact of parental uh, conflict. See, that's the thing people need to realize. Parental conflict can harm a child because a child just wants to be a child. They just want to, they just want to have fun. They want to enjoy their life. They don't want to have any worries. They want to just go to school and maybe not go to school, skip some days. <laughs> but y'all know, they just want to be a kid, carefree. And the stress of divorce and parental conflict and, you know, you have to understand you don't want to add on unnecessary stress. And adding Jag into the mix and old Dusty doing certain things or saying certain things can add unnecessary stress. Now, given a uh, divorce is already going to be stressful, you can't you can't get rid of all stress. But what you, what you can get rid of is unnecessary stress, and that's that's what the, the problem is. Okay, um, don't create unnecessary problems and conflict and issues. Um, and you need to understand what doing certain things can cause. So, uh, with that being said, uh, you have to understand the impact of parental conflict. Okay. Um, uh, on the daughter. Okay. Parental alienation, uh, stands for things about the other parent, um, uh, certain things and actually do so the other parent can also affect the child, okay? And it says in child safety. The safety of the child is of the utmost importance. And oh Dusty has not taken that into consideration. He doesn't even fully understand that he's with a complete psycho. Or maybe he does understand that he likes it, but he's just trying to clout chase because I believe he is a clout chaser. And child safety. Mr. Bodie uh should follow the uh 
certificate of completion by October 31st, 2024. They're not playing. So they're only giving him like uh, a little over two months. Wait, oh yeah. Um, to complete these parenting classes, well, 12 parenting classes and turn in a certificate of completion by Halloween. Happy Halloween! <laughs> so by Halloween, you should easily remember that because you're with the horrific bitch, okay? Um, you should turn a, a certificate of completion of, you know, and it says right here, the classes may be individual or group and person or on live. So he can take the parental classes virtual, remotely, in person, individualized, or individual or group counseling or group therapy or group classes. So he, he can take it any way he wants, so they're not putting stipulations on that, okay? Um, and it says, uh, jurisdiction and notice, Mr. Bowley shall not smoke in the presence of his daughter or leave her unattended in an automobile. Now, wait a minute. Why would they put this? Why would they put this on here? For this to put this, for them to put this on here, in, in my opinion, he must have done these behaviors for them to add this. So this is something rare and random. This seems like to be something specific. It says, Mr. Bowdy should not smoke in the presence of his daughter. For them to put this here, that means that he must be a person that smokes in front of his daughter. Now, I don't know. Is he, does he smoke cigarettes? Does he smoke crack? Does he smoke weed? I don't know. But he smokes something because and he must be smoking in front of his daughter. So they put this on here for him to stop that behavior. So, Mr. Odust, you must have been caught smoking in front of your daughter because that's why they put it on this document. Why else did they put this here? Now, this is just my opinion. This is speculation. I don't know. But usually they don't put something like this on here unless they, they are telling you to stop doing something. And how can the court know if he smoked and they're telling him to stop doing something? So he has to smoke something and he's been doing it in front of his daughter. So put it, you cannot do it based on this document. And then the last sentence says, or leave her unattended in the automobile. Oh, see, this is not a checkbox form where it's saying like, this is something everybody does and check which one applies to you. This is something that he has been caught doing, in my opinion, and they're telling him to stop doing it. So, what did that investigator find or detect? Or what has been told to the court about his behavior? But usually a court doesn't order something unless they have evidence of it because courts are evidence-based. Sometimes they go by evidence and hearsay. But I don't know, y'all. It could be that, you know, he has done this behavior in the past, or it could have, it, maybe in the past that he has uh, left the child on the and they're telling him not to do that anymore. Or maybe the investigator caught him leaving his child on the tenant in the car, and then that, now they're saying, don't do that. Because uh, I don't know. So, what do y'all think? I don't know. And again, that's why I would love to see the investigative report so I can actually look at the investigative report and see what's on there. But as of today, I don't see it in there and I don't know because that, that was presented as an exhibit. Now, to be honest, Jack knows. But maybe Jack can show us online what she posted one picture of surveillance in a car. Oh, wait! Remember Jack said that the investigator had caught her that had something about her sleeping in a car caught her sleeping in a car so she was sleeping in a car at one point when the investigator she said it she said that uh that she was the, the, remember that press one of you remember jackie said that the investigator um took a picture of her sleeping in the car And now, right here, it says, or leaving, or leave her unattended in an automobile. So, uh, are you, what? 
I, I don't know y'all, but see, yeah, see, yeah, I knew it. See, that's the thing. A lot of y'all, okay. But I don't know what they've been doing, you know, but based on this, it looks like they probably have left her unattended in the car or something like that. So that's why he has to take parenting classes and things like that. Uh, that's what it looks like. Whatever they uh, saw, they realized that he needs parenting classes. They're not going to order parenting classes in a restraining order unless they felt like something um, showed that the child was unsafe and they need, because they said child safety is a thing. So we can only go by this court document. Like I said, I wish I had other evidence of, you know, like the investigative report, but I don't. So we will have to unfortunately wait until I can get my hands on the exhibit or uh, there's another update in September. So that's it for now, y'all. That's 14 pages. And yeah, so that sucks. Uh, I really want to see that investigative report to know all the details. Uh, but if I was just guessing or speculating, um, this is specific, so it looks like this could be specific to him and something that he has been caught previously doing or currently doing or uh, something. Either way it goes, it's something that they are telling him to stop doing, so that means he was doing it at some point, which I don't know until we have more information. Uh, with that being said, let's go back to, um, hold on a second. I might actually come back tonight because to be honest, uh, yeah, hold on one second. Let me go over one more thing. I'm actually gonna come back tonight because I'm actually getting tired already. Uh, hold on. I was thinking I had a lot of energy, but it looks like I don't. Okay, wait one second right here. So, Kilo is gifted a membership. So, if you are gifted a membership by Kilo, please say thank you for the gift of membership. Again, shout out to Kilo for gifting the membership. Please say thank you for the gift of membership. Um, I appreciate the support. And also, shout out to Blanca. Happy five month anniversary. Yes, and yes, I appreciate you for being a member for five months. I appreciate it. And everybody else, remember, support my channel for free just by what? Hitting that like button. So uh, let me actually show y'all this before I get off here and I will uh, come back tonight, okay? Um, for the continuation. So I know it, I usually stay way longer than two hours, okay? Um, where is that one? So everybody knows that Jack is not supposed to be out of jail. Okay, as I stated earlier, her lawyer has, uh, it's gonna be withdrawing from the case. But once he heard that I was um, a blogger, he hung up. Now I could have lied, but you know, I'm not a person that likes to lie. And sometimes you have to kind of spin the truth, but you know, lie, okay? To get information, but yeah, I just, whatever to me he already had answered the question anyway because he said withdraw but he said because that means he was going to say more but his lawyer side kicked in and he was like wait i'm being interrogated and you know lawyers don't like to be interrogated so, okay let's see uh this is to the judge jacqueline who's that right is a uh wait it says dear honorable judge nancy Mulder, see Y'all know and Jack talk about don't write letters to a judge, don't write letters to a judge. They falsely accused me of writing a letter to a judge. Y'all falsely accused me of writing a letter to the judge. Press one in the chat, y'all remember them falsely accusing me of doing it. I never did it. And other people have accused me. Now, since so y'all want to accuse me of something, I went ahead and did it. There is a such thing, you know, some people say don't accuse people of something because they might as well do it since you want to accuse them anyway. Now, I don't agree with that logic when it comes to certain things like cheating and all that. I've never cheated on nobody and never will. However, in this case, uh, why?